Uh, yeah. Right, um, two different fruits today. Um, got pears. Bring, them, bring, them, bring a pear. Just one, 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 one. Right, and I might as well demonstrate how to peel the pear while I'm here because it is a little slightly different. However, it is what it is. Easy, easy, easy. Right. Easy, easy. I've got my water. Easy. My water from the juga. Here we go. And I'm gonna, right. and I'm gonna quickly peel this for you. Show you how, how quick and easy it is. Because I'm peeling. I'm, I'm, uh -huh. I knew that. Yeah. That's wrong. <laughs> I don't make mistakes. I just want to see if you are awake. That's what it is, right? Is uh, so I got that in like that. Can you see how, how easy it is? It's, yeah, yeah. it's so easy. Now, what we're going to do once it's done, like that, the object is as little, little of the skin as possible, okay. right? More pear, less skin. It's, it's kept its lovely shape, of course it has, right? And then the bottom of it there, you get the, the tip and you just take out the eye. Okay, the inside. Right, just, just that little bit there. No, no, nothing or nothing like that. Can you see that? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah? Can you see that? No. <laughs> right. I'll go in there. So, the apple. Same old, same old, right? Now, an apple should be easier to peel than the actual pear itself. Really? Yeah, because of the shape. Because you're doing because, 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 because of the shape. Yeah, it's more, it's, the, the shape is more even, yeah? So, as you can see, round and round, right? Now, with the apple, we're gonna cook something, what is called a marmalade and it isn't marmalade like in jam right it's butter sugar and the apples and you don't cook it out until it's a little mush like a puree you cook it it's still got lumps in it yeah but we'll, we'll, we'll come to that with these apples they're primarily apples you do not need to put any water in the pot it just, just, it's got its own liquid, liquid in there in and it will you literally eventually if you cook it long enough what's the name of it primarily Brand yeah. Brand yeah. Brand yeah. These are cooking apples. If you try eating them, you'll know about it. The big one. Yeah, brown apple. They're, they're good. They're, 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 very, they're very good for sweets. Right, so you've got your apple. Top your knife for the professional, please. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sorry. Thank you so much. Sorry, you know the green apple. Some people use the green, normal green. Apple. Some people use it. Some people use the red one. But it's up to the, it's up to some people. I'm not saying don't use it. But we use the brownie apples. We use the brownie apples. It mashes right out. The other apples, they don't. They don't. They don't mash. Yeah. No, so the brownie apples soft. The brownie apples. Once it's cooked. Once it's cooked, it it it, it, it mashes out. Yeah. So who's that? Do you want to start? So I just yeah, right, I, t I took away the um, the, the, the excess skin, the little skin there, and, and I took away the core. The like this, the core, yeah. just like that. Just that from there a week ago. Yeah. 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 Oh, you can see. Hmm? You can see. No, I could see you just normal water to go in the mouth. It was a mass. Oh, 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 but I'm offended. Oh, this is right. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is right, right, right. Right, can you see what I did? got it wrong, Colin. Huh? <laughs> You're not paying attention. You're not concentrating. Don't cut your fingers. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, my God. That was the rubbish. Right. See what I'm doing? Right. The reason I put it in the water is so it doesn't go brown. It doesn't go brown, I know. Yeah? So, let's once again. Yeah? yeah? When I had it in mind, I thought, when you saw it, you were saying apple. I thought apple crumble. Right, now, um, I'm going to try and get some more butter. 
So what I'm going to get you guys to do is peel the apples. Okay, these packets here, right? They are 250 grams standard. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you something quick and sharp. Um, we have to go to, oh, I don't have enough butter. Um, anyway, all right, simple thing. We have to maybe work uh, more than two. All right, to cook the apples itself, but to make the crumble because I, I want to see. All right, um, we, we, we need um, 125 to make the crumble, and 125 to make uh, the shortbread. So we have to work like that. I'm not going to write them down to get them up. It's just too bad, right? Right, so this, I want you to work in five groups. Sort out five groups amongst yourselves. That's all. No! Oh! Right? That, 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 all right? No talking, no talking, no talking, no talking. Right? Eventually, it, it won't be like this. It won't be like this. Right? I'll have to, to, to sort out something. Uh, so that we have enough for everybody. So, the quickest way to cut a butter in half and get equal amounts is like this. Slide that. Shh. Oh. 125 by 125. I bet you. Just like, it, it might not be exact. It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be exact, right? But it's a way of doing it. Okay. Got no scales, no, no queuing up. That's what you do. All right? Now, making a crumble. So, if I'm making 125, 125, so I'm going to need 250 flour. Double the amount of flour. So what you see me doing here now, I'm preparing my butter. So I'm going to just rub it in by hand. You can use a machine, but at this stage you don't really need to because it's just a small amount. Yeah, if it was maybe 500 or a kilogram of butter, I might have used a, 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 a um. And when you're um, doing the rubbing in method, take your your butter, margarine and butter really, out of the fridge. Even half an hour before you're going to use it. So, it's slightly warm. You know, you know it's soft, soft, soft. I mean, it's kind of still firm, but you don't want it fridge temperature because it's too tough. It can still work, but it just takes a, take a little touch longer. So, the scales, there's a, a, a button called tear. You press that, and that will turn to zero. And then you can weigh out your 250 grams. I know we've got enough flour. Right, we've got about three kilos. So 250 grams of flour. Four and a half. So that's even, that's even better. So we've got enough. I'm going to film for next week, that's all. Right, lovely. Okay. So And then, if I do that again, you go up to zero. And I can weigh out my sugar, 150 grams of sugar, 150 grams of butter, 250 flour. Yeah, you ready? The same amount of sugar. The same amount of butter. In here, always, in all of them, in all the recipes. The same amount of sugar, the same amount of, uh, yeah. Okay. In all, in all the recipes? Yeah. Put that in my head and I like Yeah, yeah, on the Twitter, I have to So now, I can add my... I can add my sugar, my, my, my butter, and all I'm doing is that. Yeah. And that's it. So once I've got that, I mix it all in. Right, and then you'll see it will, it will turn like breadcrumbs. Oh. Yellow uh, and look like breadcrumbs, and that is the texture we're looking for. Yeah? 
it's a little bit hard, but it's not too bad. It's, it's workable. Huh? What, what, what does it do? Don't put the butter in the microwave. Don't do that. Just leave it out. It will change the structure. No, 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 I don't do that. It's, it's not good practice. The, the better practice is to take it out a little while before you're, going to, before, you're going to, before you're going to use it. You don't take it out put it in the microwave. I don't do that. It's not good practice. Oh, it's just not a good practice, but it will change the... It can change the structure. And oh. the, 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 you're not guaranteed. Maybe it's not good. Huh? Pardon? Maybe the sugar will melt. I said butter. Don't. I know, but when you... Well, no, 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 no. I'm talking so about when it comes to things like puff pastry or butter. I don't defrost it in the microwave. I do not. It changes the structure. And you're not guaranteed the, the product will come out the way the recipe says. It may come out and it may not. When you do it this way, it will. You know what I mean? It will come out the way it's supposed to. So I try to avoid it. Obviously, if you, if you ain't got no choice because you're, you're running late and you forgot to do it, then that's different. But if you can, give yourself time to take the butter out of the fridge. It's about even half an hour just before you can use it. It doesn't have to be an hour or so. Can you see the texture? It looks like breadcrumbs. Yeah? That is it. All right, so I would suggest you guys do that part first. Funny thing is, that is ready. Nothing more to add to it, right? If I was going to do shortbread, which I will do I'll see later, later on, uh, I'm not going to use 250 grams of flour. I'm going to use about 100, I'm going to put 170. Right, you, you want about three times the butter to the flour. You got it? Wow. So where, where it was half and half, and crumble, you would want it something like 150 to 200, or, or so on, so 150 to 200, yeah. I've only got 25 parts, so I'll have to bring the flour down. Yeah? Um, and I'll show you, when, you, when, you're, when you're making your shortbread, all you've got to do is that, and you squeeze it, and the, the butter and the, it's just kind of comes together. But we'll, we'll get onto that stage later on, right? So go with the, the crumble first. Don't do anything, once the crumble is made, Stick it to the side, and then we can show you the shortbread. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Please, uh, if you want to add... Um... Mm, right, okay. So, what is a marmalade? A marmalade, you, uh, you might know it as um, citrus fruit, like um, lemon or orange. Lemon or orange jam with the, with the rind in it. That's what you might know it as, you know? But a marmalade is um, also butter and sugar. And we cook the apples in the butter and the sugar. No water. And we just cook it in there. We half cook the apples. And there's still a little few lumps in there, but we're not cooking it down to a mush. Right? Did I, did I say 50 grams of sugar? Yeah. 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 I said something wrong. Why did I say something wrong? Because these apples are sour. You need about 150 grams of sugar. It's sour. Good song. That's all right. That's it. Any other hundred grams of sugar, it's sour. But the, the, the sugar, the sugar is cooked to your taste. Yeah. So we're gonna cook the, the the apples slowly until it comes to a mush. When it reaches that, you can start cooking them in, in a second. When it reaches that stage, I'll call you over, and you will see what you're looking for when you're cooking. Don't put it on a high fire. Put it on a low fire. I've got mine on the solid top there, right? But you can put yours on the solid top. You can cook it. You can cook it on. on Yep, so you've got your uh, pasta spoon. Uh, no, I've got one. Um, this one is spoon. Right. So basically, um, this is the, the, the apple marmalade that I'm telling you about. It's, you can see it's soft. Yeah. yeah, it's soft, but it's still got lumps in it. Right? So that will be for the apple crumble later on. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make so what I'm going to do now, get my crumble.
that will go, it's hot, into that oven. Alright? Careful, careful, careful. Put your phone Alright, got it. Right, into the oven. Right, what we're going to do, because this is me thinking on my feet, more butter than the, the previous recipe. So, what, what happens is, because of the high content of butter in there, when I squeeze it, it should stick together, which it won't because uh, it needs more butter. But I'm going to put a little bit more butter in there. Just a little bit more. So I can see it. Looks... So, what's your napkin measuring for I know, because I know, cook up, it, it, it was from the crumble from the last. Right, so if you've got 200 grams of flour, you need 150 grams of butter. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Now, what's and learn, right? When you're making 150 grams of butter, 200 grams of flour. When you're making biscuits? When you're making these ones, in this recipe. We're making these ones in this recipe. That's what you're eating, yeah. You see that? You see what I'm doing? Yeah. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. The amount of butter in there, it should turn like that, and it should become soft like that. Oh, and then you mould it into biscuits. Oh, biscuits. And if you have 250 grams of flour, how much butter in? 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm? No. I, I, if you, do you remember how much you were in How much butter? How much butter? No, you yeah, 125 grams. Just cut it in the Add 25 grams more. Okay. That's what you need to do. Add 25 grams more of butter. Can you see what's happening? Can, can, you, see, can you see what's happening? Can you see, right? So watch me. Can you see, right? This is, can I, can I, I'm talking, you're talking at the same time, I'm still demonstrating. Right? How much sugar? I'm still demonstrating, so just wait for me in a minute. Right. So, once again, if I've got 200 grams of flour, which is, right, and I've got 50 grams of butter, I'm making scones. If I've got 200 grams of flour, and I've got 100 grams of butter, I'm making something like crumble or pastry. If it's pastry, it would, you'd add water to it. If it's crumble, you don't. If I've got 200 grams of flour and I've got 150 grams of butter, I'm making shortbread. Can you see what happens? Yeah. It's going up by 50 all the time. Yeah. yeah. yeah? And that's it. The, the, the flour stays the same, but the butter goes up. And, that, and when the butter goes up, it changes the product. Come on. What about cake? Oh, we, we, we did rubbing in method today. This, this, is, this is the rubbing in method. Yeah, it's not, cake is cake is, cake, cake, is cream, cream, cake is cream. It's a different method. Oh. Yeah, and and cake is, and cake has got egg in it. This, 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 I'm just showing you what you do, right? Just using flour yeah. and butter, and you can make three different things. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. It's taste got up with the butter. It changes. It changes what, what, what the, the product yeah. itself, but the ingredients are is still is still the same. Yeah. 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 No. The sugar right. is the same. But what was saying? No, the sugar goes up with the butter. Okay, the last part of the exercise, so we've got uh, apple crumble, the pears are poached. Uh, <laughs> this should be nice and rested, <laughs> it over rested, I don't know. But then I'm just going to do that, hopefully, hopefully it won't crack, it won't crack, it won't crack. Uh, wow, it's nice. Yes. Yeah, why do you think? It's not even too long. Huh? No, it's yeah. fine. The bar. The bar. The bar. Yeah. 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 Well, it yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is that, it doesn't be as thick as this, but can you see the distance? It's going to spread a little bit. Right. So what we're going to do there, first of all, we're going to get all our biscuits cut up and put on a tray. We'll put it in the oven at one time. Okay. you Right, so this is going to be the last part. This is called creme anglaise. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat up the, the cream. Sugar. Here you go. Ready? You've done it. And this is Eau Bamari water bath. Because you cannot really put eggs directly on heat. So you're going to burn it and scramble it. So, this is milk custard. Yeah, this, is, this is real custard. So twist the egg. The real ratio is two eggs to one egg yolk. I'm going to three eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. One egg yolk. You have to put two eggs and one egg yolk. Two whole eggs and one egg yolk. Yeah. That's the, that is the ratio. But they are just using the whole egg. What about the cream and the sugar? The cream and the sugar. Uh -huh. so about 500 milliliters of cream. Of milk. Oh. Milk or cream? Milk. Oh. 500 milliliters of milk and about 100 milliliters of cream. Well, I haven't got any milk. Right? Mm. Right. Mm. At the end of the kitchen, I've got the syrup, the stock syrup that the, the pears cooked in. Reducing down till it becomes thick. Now what's supposed to happen is I whisk it until it starts to, to thicken. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, sauce on glaze, very delicious. There you go. Sauce on glaze. Sauce on glaze. And uh, we're going to have uh, this um, poached pears, poached pears in the, in the in the cooking it becomes a syrup, like that. All right, there you go. In your poached pears, there you go. Ooh, de Wait. Delicious, Colin. Ooh. Anyway, what's your so, name? No, 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 what syrup? What syrup? Pear syrup. It's just a, it's, 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 it's a stock syrup. You're, you're, you're in my video. That's why it's called stock syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. Oh, what can I say, eh? Bon appetit, eh?